Hey everyone, so today I am back with another mini creative beauty haul. Like when I say mini, I literally mean mini. It was just a small order, but I still wanted to share with you guys because I did pick up some more Swarovski crystals because I'm adding some different colors to my collection. Like I want to eventually have a lot of Swarovski crystals, like a lot of the colors and just the different styles. And I also picked up some gel polishes that I want to share with you as well. So if you'd like to see more in regards to these products, stay tuned. So first I'll be sharing another brush I got. You guys know that I love using Delight Elegance bling brushes. I just picked up another oval number four brush. Like I've told you guys before, you can never have too many brushes and I personally like to have a brush for like every, I wouldn't say every color, but I like to have a brush for my darks, a brush for my lights. Uh, my brights, my darks, whites, blacks, you know, like that. So I actually needed another one. I think I might need one more. I'm not sure, but either way, you can never have too many brushes. There's no harm in stocking up on brushes. Then, of course, I picked up some more files. So I picked up the 8080 and 100 100. I got the more rectangle one. I really like the bridge ones, but I figured I would just try these ones out and see. I like these oval ended ones too but me personally i really really prefer bridge but we'll see how i like these ones again files are something that i feel you always need to have so i'm always stocking up so i never run out and for those who like to see i redid my nails i wanted something bright since spring is here and summer is coming so i just went with something simple for mother's day too and did this like pinky gold let me know what you guys think. And as you guys know, I am trying to build up my Swarovski crystal collection. So I picked up some air blue opals in SS9. You get 30 pieces in a pack. I picked up some SS7 in air blue opals. I picked up some raindrops. And these ones are the 6 by one7 millimeters, So they're smaller than the set I had in my last video. And then I picked up some aquamarine. Like, look at how pretty that blue is. This is really nice for winter too. And I picked up some SS9s and some SS5s. I also picked up four colors from the Envogue Lacket line. So because this is a shorter video, I will just be swatching them within the video instead of doing a separate video of the gel polishes. So let's get started with that. I'll be starting off with Fruity de Bosco. I really hope I said that properly. <laughs> So just by the bottle, you can tell it's gonna be a purple, so I'm biased already. Ugh, and it's so beautiful, guys. talk about how buttery smooth this is especially in one coat it is so opaque i could go in with a second coat but i'm not going to this to me is a vibrant medium purple like it is perfect for spring and summer maybe it might go on my toes soon i don't know i have to see I'm not sure about my nails yet but you'll definitely be seeing this on me for sure it is absolutely gorgeous i think i'm just gonna leave it at one coat and here's fruity de bosco against my skin tone such a beautiful and vibrant purple and even like at the tip here you can't see the design under this color so again this was just one coat and it is so opaque i love it i mean i'm probably biased because it's my favorite color but still this was so amazing so the next color i will be sharing is neon pink it kind of almost looks similar to the pink that I have on. And that's by the bottle. I don't know what it looks like inside yet though. Ooh, no. This is definitely brighter than what I have on my nails. So this to me is a bright neon Barbie hot pink like it is really bright it is showing up a bit more on the cool side than what I'm seeing in real life this is a true neon pink 
again this one went on really smooth i was expecting to have some sparseness because it is a neon color and neons tend to be a bit more difficult with the application but this one was not so i'm gonna leave this at one coat as well i'm loving that these are one coat polishes and here is neon pink against my skin tone i don't know i'm i could probably see myself wearing this i have a few clients that i know would love this one of my girlfriends loves pink so i know this is right up her alley but again you can see how opaque it is against my nail with the gold glitter like at the top here obviously you can see it at the sides because it's a stiletto tip but where it is covering you can't see the gold under it and then if you put the two next to each other the pink that's on my nails is a lot darker than this one is for sure so the next color that i will be sharing with you is neon orange oh this is vibrant Okay, so how vibrant is this orange? Again, this isn't showing up how I want it to. It is actually really bright. It has a bit of red undertones to it to me, but it's definitely a neon orange. My camera is making it look a bit more pumpkin-y, like a bright pumpkin, but it definitely is not what I'm seeing in real life. Again, another one quarter, the application was smooth. I'm loving that these bright colors are still coming out as one quarters. That makes that even much more better for me. And here is neon orange against my skin tone. Honestly guys, I really wish this would pick up true to life. It is picking up more like tomato red and it's not even close to that. So that's what has me annoyed, but it is still a beautiful color. As you can see, it is very, very opaque. Perfect for summer. I love that I grabbed these colors. Like these get me super excited for summertime and the last color that i will be sharing from the Lacket gel line that i picked up from creative beauty is tropicana and this one is a glow in the dark i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get it to glow in the dark because it's still bright here in toronto but i will try to snap a picture of it when it gets darker and include it in this video for you this is such a beautiful blue here we have Tropicana in one coat so this to me is like a very medium turquoise blue like it leans more on the blue than it does the green side it is still really pretty it is still really pretty I can really see this being worn at the beach or even in the winter when you just need like a bright pick-me-up this is really really gorgeous you see when I went in with a thinner court it coat when I went in with a thinner coat, it was a bit more sparse, but when I applied just a little bit more, it evened out. So I would say with this one, going with a thicker first coat, like not super thick that you're going to flood the cuticles or anything, but just that right amount that you will get good coverage because now I don't have to go in with a second coat. I mean, I could if I want to, but there really isn't a need or a reason to. And here's Tropicana against my skin tone, a beautiful blue it is showing up a bit brighter than it is in real life but it is still amazing nonetheless this is another great summer find for sure and the last two polishes i'll be sharing with you is a new to me brand and this is wow gel polish i believe this is a brand under the egoista line from creative beauty i'm not sure i'll have to double check but again picked up some really fun summer colors that i'm just gonna go ahead and share quickly with you so the next color i'll be sharing is number 125 it looks like a very bright yellow and this is from the wow brand yep 
definitely a bright yellow. I will say that the brush handle is a bit smaller than I'm, a, I'm accustomed to, but I should be able to work with it. So here we have number 125, which is a very bright and sunny yellow. As you know, yellows are usually difficult to work with. So because of that, I am going to go in with a second coat just to help give it, um, to help help level it a bit better. But even with the first coat, it's very nice. But because I can see some shadowing like in this area, you guys might not be able to see it, but I can see it. Definitely going to go in with a second coat. So that second coat really helped to even things out and help to self-level things better. So two coats really helps with this polish and I find that with most yellow polishes anyway, you either need two or three coats. And here is number 125 against my skin tone, a very fun summer yellow for sure. I don't usually lean towards yellows, but I don't know. I think I kind of like this one. And the last color I will be sharing with you is number 135, and this looks like a vibrant green. Ooh, this definitely is brighter than I was expecting. It is showing up more of a mint green, and that's not it. It is definitely a neon green. And here we have number 135 with the first coat. So I am seeing some shadowing and unevenness, which is expected with neon colors. Again, my camera is not showing. True color of this polish, it isn't a minty green. I promise you it is like a bright, bright neon green. So I am gonna go in with a second coat just to help even and smooth everything. So here's number 135 with the second coat. As you can see, everything self-leveled very beautifully, and I'm not seeing any of that unevenness that I was seeing with the color before. My only complaint is I wish my camera would pick up the true color. And here's what number 135 looks like against my skin tone. Very fun and bright green for summer. Definitely can see a lot of people using this color, especially now with like, the whole COVID and lockdown and we just don't know what summer is going to bring for us. I can see people using this color as a pick me up. And here we have it for my mini create a beauty haul. So let me know guys, is there a color that you really, really adored? Is there a favorite? Honestly, I loved all of these colors because I wanted some bright colors with summer coming and I feel like the colors that I picked are perfect. I'm hoping that I can get some more bright colors to add to my collection. I can't wait to do nail art with these. There's so many things that are running through my mind right now. As you guys know, I'm always trying to stock up on my Swarovski crystals, so there will be many, many more additions to my collection. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and do make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified when I do post more content. I will make sure to have everything linked down in the description box for you as well. If you know anyone that would be interested in this video, please go ahead and share it. Until the next one, stay glamorous.